So, we're suited and booted and we're going to put the two nukes into the two short hives that I've made. It is absolutely baking over here. Such a beautiful day. Wild bramble everywhere in flower, bees on it. So I'm going to do this as quick as possible. I'm not going to use smoke and uh, get these bees in their new home. I've got elastic bands just in case any of the combs have broken off. It's probably not going to see anything from there. Put it down. Warpage of the wood, or if the bees are properly stick. Feels like they're properly stick. And going into their new home. As I say, I'm not really too worried about looking for queens. Nice to see a bit of brood as you're passing it through, like that. Loads of brood. It's what we like to see. So that's four frames of brood. Just started pulling out. Here we go. Welcome to your new home. Because I'm still waiting for some uh, <laughs> brood frames from Maisie Moore. I've had to go in with supers, but I'm not too worried because if I pinch any honey off of these next year, it will be the last five frames or so, and then I'll be able to take these out, replace them with brood frames, and it'll also give me cut comb on the end. I can't remember how many we've got. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Although maybe I did. That one's not pushed over. Move all these over. Yeah, it's not so bad. So, first lot of bees. Well, technically it's the third lot of bees. Cloth internal covers. Not very square. Should have cut them a bit bigger. But by placing them over the frames, like so, 
the bees will propolise it onto the frames and then come autumn we can come back and with a little flap there that's been cut in I can lift that up I can literally pour a bag of sugar on top of that spread it out nice and flat so as it fits in the gap and that will if they need it feed the bees right the way through the winter Bees attack. Lots of bees in this one trying to sting me. Three frames of brood on this one. They don't seem to be as strong as the other hive. We'll swap out these frames before next year on this hive anyway. So we've still got a couple more that could go in there. I'll have to walk back to the van. But while I'm gone, I'll shut the lid. See if that gets them used to the front. Camera probably won't pick these up. <laughs> There's loads of bees feeding on this pollen already, this bramble. Most probably from one of the other two hives that were already over here.
Okay, so we've got another two frames from the van. Already seen bees going in the entrance, I'm happy with that. There's our hive, all our frames in it. Let's put the cover on. these covers a little bit better so they fit better but that will do shut the lid so them old bits of comb I'm going to clean up the burr comb on them try and leave as much as possible though because it smells good put them into these three frames in each one and then leave these boxes over here as swarm traps. Not that I think I'll get any swarms this year, but you never know off the other bees or passing bees that are, you know, living in the woodland. Because so I'm sure there must be a few hollow trees about with bees in them. So that's the old brood frames that we had, that we found over here three in each box because these bees uh, boxes have had bees in they're going to smell good we've got old comb in them I'm going to slap the lids on find a couple of bits of plastic to put over the top and just simply put one on that bench and one on that bench leave them there you never know our luck That's what we're classing as hive one. Whoa. Steve, you're getting old. Does that stay on there? No, I didn't make the landing board wide enough. A GoPro. And this is Hive 2. So we needed to do over here today. Get those bees over here. I'm sweating like a pig. 